Okay, so can you see it? Yeah, here it is. This uh, this is the underside, the the single, the other leg of the power. And uh, what I ended up doing was loosening all those nuts a little bit so that I could get my little pointy baby vice grips in there. And now I can just uh, tighten it up with my. I'm gonna have to turn it even if it gets out of the light. I can tighten it up with my uh, nut driver. So I thought I can't do it uh, with the, holding the camera. But anyway, um, I gotta put my screwdriver out on the other side because you don't want that. Uh, if you start tightening it up, it'll turn the whole thing. The other thing is these uh, lugs, these uh, crimp connectors for the power. This is all 110 volt, so you don't want them close to each. You don't want them where they can turn, where they could they could touch each other potentially, or more likely, this is a metal box that it goes in. So right there is where that. Uh, there may be a little, yeah, there's some space because of these, but anyway, if these turn, I believe they could possibly turn far enough. Seems like I remember that. I didn't pay attention today, but from previous installations, it could actually, if they were loose, turn far enough to touch the, that metal wall and short the whole thing out. So you don't want any of that happening in your attic. And uh, so that's why I got to go into this trouble. Uh, I believe the first ones, I didn't think about it and didn't do it, and then later it was pretty loose whenever I, it went out and I went to take it down. So anyway, bye.